act in these plays, and the reviewers always say, drag queen Taylor Mac acting in the play. I'm like, this is my like 20th play that I've been in in the last two years. You know, <laughs> at a certain point, when do you stop being the drag queen and start being an actor? Is there craft, <gasps> there's craft services? Oh my god, I love it. What'd you make, machine? I didn't call you. So I'm sorry, I forgot your costume at home. I found this on the street on the way here. <laughs> I looked in the bag and I think it might work. They have an agenda when they use the word drag. <laughs> so when a drag queen calls me drag, they, they've got an agenda, they're saying I'm their sister. If a critic says I'm a drag queen, it's because they're trying to say, ooh, this work is downtown or edgy. At the same time, I want to honor the tradition of drag. I love it. Drag is um, whatever you choose to wear that day. You know, you're in your work drag over there. This is just drag for the stage. I do believe that every day that everyone is always performing at all times. It's just some people understand the craft of it and some people don't. <laughs> and I think that's often why people go to therapy. When I first started my solo work was about being the oddest person in the room and reminding people that they are like me. And then as I've gotten older and the work is in some ways matured, it's become about inviting all the odd people onto the stage and then saying, hi, we're all having a party. Hey, you guys can join us too. It looks gorgeous, honey. You know how hard it is to find a hula hoop this time of year? Bear with me. Okay. Let me find the hole. You know, you really have to trust your collaborators. So they're not going to make you look like a fool. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. Theater is the most collaborative art form there is. I used to do like all these solo shows and it was just really just me. And now I know who my collaborators are and I'm interested in how they change the work. Penny Arcade says a queer is not a gay or straight, but a person who was ostracized by society to such a degree as a young person that they couldn't possibly ostracize anyone else. And I always think about that in terms of wanting to create work that invites everybody into the room, and so that is about making a community. I'm safe. I'm not safe. I'm a New Yorker. There's this song that Ted Nugent wrote. And it's basically about how he wants to fag bash anyone who's dressed fancy. And so we sing it in the concert, but we slowed it down, and then we asked the entire audience to slow dance together. Suddenly this song that's about fag bashing becomes this kind of um, entire audience uh, romantic slow dance. I'm a New Yorker. Because I'm a tranny. No, I'm a drag queen. No, I'm an artist. Or maybe I'm not. My job as a theater artist is just to remind people of what they've dismissed, forgotten, or buried. Performance, it's not about only pleasure. It's actually about ritual and sacrifice. You have to go through something as an audience member. It means that you will be uncomfortable, and that's okay. You'll also be taken care of.